Hello my dear friends, my name is Adam and this is YouTube channel Fuse Service. In this video I would like to tell you about the difference between heat pumps and air conditioners. We have here the wonderful Daikin heat pump, HVAC unit, Mitsubishi Electric heat pump unit, carrier heat pump unit and carrier air conditioner. I have limited area in my backyard and what would you suggest to install for myself if I have very small, tiny space in my backyard? I believe for sure I will go to something like Daikin or Mitsubishi Electric. But if I have a lot of space and actually I can install conventional air conditioning or heat pump system, something like this, I for sure will don't care about my space in the backyard and I will take this noisy classic model of heat pump or air conditioner. These actually units looks like similar, but they do little bit different things. So this unit is actually heat pump and why I know it, because in this unit we have a few parts which we don't have actually here in a regular air conditioner. So heat pump conventional units like this does have valve which is switching modes from the heating to the cooling and this why this unit have ability to deliver heating or cooling in depend on the modes and if we will see inside here we will actually see these extra parts and air conditioner inside of the classic conventional models we have only one part which is called compressor. So what about efficiency? Efficiency of the both units could be the same because this unit does have more parts. It is usually more expensive because it just uh, does two functions, heating and cooling. And what this is a main difference between the air conditioner and heat pumps. Why I compare with two slim units like this? Because these units does have even more functions. This unit, like conventional, is just uh, does have one speed, like it will turn on for 100% of capacity it, and it will be constantly running on 100% of its capacity. This one can run 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 60, 90 or 100% depend on the situation. And this is kind of have like a very nice sense of the delivering comfort to your house. Yes, it will start for 100% when your house very cold, but then it will decrease the capacity of the power of the delivering the warmer temperature. And then it will decrease more, 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 and then it will be just a support the needed temperature. In this case, when you have a cubicle design of the unit, it will run for 100% and then will cut off when it will reach the needed temperature, for example, 72 Fahrenheit. When the temperature goes a little bit lower, like a 70, it will kick on back and will run one more time till your temperature will reach 72 or 73 Fahrenheit. And it will be kick on, turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on all the time. Same things happen happening with air conditioner but the main difference as I said air conditioner doesn't deliver the heating this why air conditioner units like this usually coming with gas furnaces if we're talking about the area where we are like bay area I usually recommend all the time to install the heat pumps because you don't have to run the gas line actually for your heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. And brand new houses or remodeling houses in our area, you actually won't be able to install something just heat pump units. So if you would like to live in modern days, consider just to install for yourself the heat pump HVAC system. If you are living somewhere in very cold areas where you have all the time snow and the winter temperatures below 30 Fahrenheit, consider installing for yourself air conditioners in combination with gas furnace. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.